I'm Janet Jamieson, and I'm a professor in the Faculty of Education and co-director of the concentration, uh, Master's Concentration in Education of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing in Special Education. There is, uh, and has been for the past couple of years, a critical shortage of teachers of the deaf and hard of hearing throughout British Columbia, and in fact across Canada. The reason for this critical shortage in part is because about 30%, within about five year span, about 30% of the currently practicing teachers of the deaf and hard of hearing will be retiring. So we are definitely looking for new blood in the field. I think this is the most exciting area um, in education for any teacher to consider going in. Uh, it is a dynamic time. There is uh, so much that is happening now that is changing and enhancing um, lives for deaf and hard of hearing infants, children and youth and their families. Uh, for example, uh, 10 years ago the average age of identification of deafness in a child in British Columbia was two and a half years and today uh, infants are, most infants are identified shortly after birth thanks to the BC Early Hearing Program. Um, this means that teachers of the deaf and hard of hearing are involved um, not only in working with uh, students in classrooms and supporting um, classroom teachers or perhaps even teaching in a separate classroom, um, but teachers are also needed to work with infants and their families from the earliest days. If we think that, uh, if you think of typically developing hearing infants, they are bathed in language and we often don't think very much about how they pick up language. They just do when they're surrounded by it. Um, but if you have the case of uh, an infant who does not have access, easy access to the language around, uh, around them, then everything has to be intentional in supporting parents to bathe their children in language. My favorite sign, I've been asked, uh, just happens to be, I confess, the sign for Star Wars. And the reason for that is that I first became aware of the Star Wars franchise when The Empire Strikes Back came back, came out. And at the time I was working with a group of about 10 year olds at the Oregon School for the Deaf and they taught me the sign for Star Wars. And every time I see that sign, it's just infused with their excitement and their raw energy about that movie and about um, everything about the film. Uh, so the sign for Star Wars has been and still is my favorite.